Hey y'all, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these really cute pumpkin Halloween cats. Now you can use any size of pumpkins that you want for this. You can make them big, small, whatever. Stay tuned, I'm going to show you how to make them. All right, y'all, let us get started. So for this, you're going to need some pumpkins. These are all foam pumpkins. You can get foam pumpkin, pumpkins. <laughs> You can get the pump -up ones pretty much anywhere. Uh, these came from Walmart, but, you know, I think Dollar Tree still carries some pretty much any craft store. I've got one tall one here, and then I have one of these little squatty short ones. And then I just tried to pick out some that I thought would fit for the head. The small one, I wanted to go on the little squatty looking one, and this one on the tall one. So these are covered in glitter. I was trying to find some that were not covered in glitter, and um, my my efforts were, were, were not rewarded. So I'm just gonna take this paper towel, and I'm gonna try to get off as much glitter as possible. Okay, now we are going to paint our little pumpkins with this black paint. This is acrylic paint, and I'm gonna be using a paintbrush. Here's the thing, if you wanna use some spray paint, you can. A lot of times with these pumpkins, they have like a coating on them, like a, like a sealant, and it's gonna prevent that spray paint from actually getting to the foam, because we all know spray paint is gonna melt the foam. But these have sort of like a coating on them, so it should protect them. I've spray painted these pumpkins from Walmart before, and they were just fine. So if you wanna spray paint them, I would suggest getting an extra pumpkin and testing it out, or if not, just use the acrylic paint or put down a coat of Mod Podge, let that dry thoroughly, and then use your spray paint. I'm just trying to help you not destroy your pumpkins. So we're just going to pull the little stems out. Um, I'm going to leave the stems, I think, on the top ones. I, I think I'm going to leave those on. I might change my mind later. We'll see. But for now, I'm just going to paint all of them with this black acrylic paint. Oh, my goodness. Do you hear that noise? This end of the house is under, and my, my little storage shit out here is under a big black walnut tree and they're starting to fall off and they're making a heck of a racket out there. But anyway, let's paint these and then I'm gonna let the paint completely dry. All right, so the pumpkins are over here drying. I did stick the stems back in so I could use that to hold them as I was painting. I shouldn't have pulled them out a while ago. I don't know what I was thinking, but anyway. <laughs> Now, moving right along, I took a break. I've got my coffee, and speaking about my coffee, when I say my coffee, I mean my coffee. I have my own line of coffee. This is something I've been trying to make happen for a long time now, and life got in the way. But I took the leap. I made it happen. I wish you could smell this. It smells so good. But yes, this Southern Girl can fresh roast coffee. I have a bunch of different flavors, and I'm going to be adding some new blends in the next week. So if you want to grab some of this, this is what the pound bags look like. If you want to grab some of this, then check out my online general store. I'm going to have a link in the comments and down in the description box. So now what we're going to do is, while this is drying, let's make some ears. So I'm going to just kind of blah, blah, just going to kind of set the little pumpkin there. And with my trusty scissors here, because it can be kind of hard to uh, cut this felt. This is a really thick piece of felt. But I am just going to cut out what I think would be a good size and shape of some cat ears here. And of course, I'm going to be cutting out four because we need two on each pumpkin. Now, I'm going to work with this tall one, I guess. So let's turn it to see kind of which side I want to be the front. I think this will do. So let's see if our glue gun is hot. And I think it is. I think it is. Probably not as hot as I'd like it to be, but I think it will be able to be functioning here. It gives me a little bit of glue. All right. Now let's put this pumpkin right on top of the other one. Try to get it somewhat centered here. And I'm just going to kind of hold this in place until this glue firms up a little bit. Okay, so for our black felt here, you can see I just cut out the little ear shapes. And now I am going to try to just so gently put a little bit of hot glue on this. And this is what I like about the nozzle on this glue gun. As always, the link to this glue gun is in the description box down below. It's in the description box of all of my videos, okay? A lot of people ask me where I get my glue gun, and um, it is always down in the description box. So now we're just going to glue on the little ears and then I'm going to clean up that little bit of glue 
that kind of seeped out the edge there. Okay, so now we got our two kitties here. I need to get these uh, glue strings off of here. But anyway, now what we're gonna do is I'm going to take this piece of felt again, and I'm just going to cut out a tail shape. Okay, so we've got this piece here for the tail that I cut out of the felt, and now we're just gonna take the hot glue here, and I'm just going to glue it here to the side. I had one made, and then I looked up, and my, my camera wasn't recording. So I just had to film this again. <laughs> so there's a little blob of glue on the side of the cat. But anyway, I'm just going to hold this in place for a minute. Okay, so this is what our kitty cat looks like so far. Just set that back there. And of course, whatever I do to this one, I'll do to the other one. But let's see. I've got some fabric here, and I think I'm just going to cut a strip because I don't have any candy corn ribbon anymore. And I think that we can cut this and then tear it like so to give us kind of like that rustic look. Here we are. Let's get this out of the way. All right, move over there, please. All right, so now I'm just going to take this and I'm going to just tie an easy bow. Let's try to get some of these strings. Okay, so you see how I'm doing this? I have a video where I go real slow and show this type of bow, and I'll put that link in the description box and down in the comments. But you see this? You just take that short end, and then take this, wrap it around like so, tuck it under everything, bring it back up, and then you see this loop here? Tuck it under that loop, bring the tail through, tighten it down, and there's a bow. Boink. Let's just pull this. Let's get everything in place. All right, so now I'm going to, let's cut the tail of this. This kitty cat over here, my real kitty cat is over here playing again with her toys. I figured it's better to have her in here where she can play with her toys instead of out there where she's always interrupting me, where I have to <laughs> always pause the video and get up and let her in. So now, Let's see, oops, I think I cut one of the tails a little too long. Let's trim that down. Okay, and I'm not gonna put any faces on this kitties. I don't, I don't think, I don't, hmm. All right, now that I'm looking at, no, I don't think I will. <laughs> I think I'm just going to hot glue this bow on. Try to get it right here. Now there's a fly in here. Right there, and hold that until this glue sets up. Okay, so I think I think that's set up. I need to touch up that paint right there. I just screwed that up. But anyway, there is one kitty. Is that not cute? How cute is that? So let's set this over here and I'm gonna do the same thing for this one here and then we'll come back and take a look. All right, so here we go. Like I said, I need to go back and touch this paint up, but I will do that here just in a second. And here we go. Our two Halloween pumpkin kitties. They are so cute. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you would, please give them a thumbs up, click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below, and I hope to see y'all next time. Bye!